Good day, class. So we're done with union and intersection under operation of sets. Now, let's proceed to the complement of set. Or some called it absolute complement. Complement of A. So this is the notation of a complement, complement of A, and this is the definition. X is an element of a universal set such that X is not an element of A. This is defined the set of all elements X in the universal set such that X is not in A. So it should be an element of the universal set, but not an element of A. So let's have an example. If the universal set is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and you have set A, 4, 6. So what is A complement? So our answer here is 2, 8, 10. Since 2, 8, 10, 2, 8, 10 is an element of the universal set and it is not an element of set A. So we will cancel 4, 6. So you have 2, 8, 10 is our answer. In Venn diagram, this is how you illustrate. So let's have, this is the universal set. And this is our set A. So, when you say complement, you will shade the area that is outside our set A. Now, in our given example, if this is our universal set, so if this is set A, our set A is you have 4 and 6, and you also have 2, 8, 10, which is outside. What you're going to shade is only the area outside the set A. So this is how it is illustrated under Venn diagram. Okay, so that is complement of A. Let's have an example. Now, um, again, for the definition, it is just, you. It is. it should be true in our first proposition and also true in our second proposition. That it is a set in the universal set and not an element. I mean, it is an element of the universal set, but not an element of the given set, which is here, A. Okay, so let's have an example. Um, example number two. So let's have another. Okay, if our universal set is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you have a set A of four, five, six. Set B of 9, 10 elements. And your C is a null set. Meaning, there's no elements inside that given set. So, what is A complement? What is your answer? Okay. 1, 2, 3. You have 7, 8, 9, 10. Because these elements are in universal set. And it's not inside or not an element of our A. So we cancel 4, 5, 6 from the universal set. So what is left is 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's have B complement. So B complement is we are going to cancel 9 and 10 or we will not include 9 and 10. So our answer here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Okay, so that is B complement. 
Now, how about C complement? Okay. What is your answer? Yes, our C complement is the universal set itself. All elements are included since there is no element inside our set C. Okay. Um, let's have another one. Um, this one. What is B com B complement of E complement or the complement? I mean, I'm gonna change this one. What is the complement of a B complement? What do you think is the answer? Okay, it's nine and ten. Now B complement. You're going to solve first B complement, which is which is this. And then the complement of this number. So you are going to cancel from the universal set this number. So what is left is 9 and 10. So double complement. What, what is happening here? So you complement B and then the result will be complemented again. And then we use the universal set. Okay, how about this? Let's try to combine what we have learned in previous lesson. What is A complement, intersection, B complement? So we have A complement and B complement. The intersection is the common. Okay, what is the common? We have 1, 2, 3, 7, 8. So you can really combine the operations. Now, how about A complement, union, B complement? We will combine a and B. So our answer is 1, 2, 3, um, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So this is our answer. Okay. So that's example number 2. So let's have another example. You can really combine no operations. Let's have another, the third example. Let's have example number three. So if our universal set is X, um, X such that X is an element, an element, wait, um, an element of an integer or an integer that is our universal set our set a is x such that x is e whole number whole number just to remember this b set b is x such that x is an even integer okay an even integer okay so we have three sets you have the universal and you have set a and b what is a complement okay let's try to define this first so what is an integer an integer is of course you have an example negative three negative two one zero one two three and so on Okay, how about a whole number? A whole number starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. An even integer, 0. So 0 is even and also an integer. So 0, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Okay, so now what is A complement? So we will cancel our 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to our universal set. What is left is the negative integer. So you have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. This is in rooster method. Now in set builder, x such that x is a negative integer. Okay. Now... What is B complement? Okay, B complement is X such that X is an even number. So we are going to cancel this from our universal set. So since even are all canceled, 
What is left is x such that x is an odd integer. Okay. So, this is our example number 3. So example number 3, you have your example number 2, the Venn diagram, and the definition of the complement of A. So, we're done with our third um, operation of set complement.